I am going to to load all our belongings into this big truck which I got from U-Haul. It's the 26 feet truck. Let's go around it just to see how it goes. It's a really big truck. Looks new-ish. This is what it looks like inside. Real big. So, so entering the driver's seat. Looks a little bit like a car, but not really. It's big. So, got manual controls for the windows. Um, I imagine this is the light. Taking note of the mileage and the, the fuel level. I actually feel a little bit intimidated trying to drive this car, so let's see. I hope I don't mess it up. This is not too bad. I have like a higher elevation and I can see the road like all the way out there. And I, if I just notice the side mirrors, I think I'm good. It's driving like a car except it's big and it takes a little bit longer to stop. You gotta leave plenty of time for signal whether you turn to the right or to the left so that the people behind me or behind you if you're driving a U-Haul truck too will have enough time to adjust. And also when doing curves be careful and reduce your speed. And again, I can't overemphasize this, the side mirrors are your friends. Let's see how much gas this can take. It took 35 gallons, I spent $83. This is what I got in the truck so far. And I've started loading at about lunchtime of December 3rd. Um, I have some friends coming over later today and then later tomorrow. Um, but, and they will help me with the bigger things. But all these things that I can carry and put there, I'm just gonna do it by myself. And then uh, they'll help me with the cabinet, the dressers, and all the other big and heavy stuff before I can leave the apartment, before I can leave Nashville on Monday, which is December 5th. All right, here we go. Got <laughs> lots and lots of stuff. It's a mess, a big, big mess, if I should say so. This is one that friends are gonna help me with. The TV I will need help to take it down and put it in a box. It's Christmas time and our Christmas tree is still here. I can wait. I need to put some bubble wrap here and box box it up. Let's go to the kitchen. We need to load this freezer. All these things. This big table too is going with me. Nope, the fridge stays here. This is the apartment complexes. All these things I need to clean up and you know all these cabinets are empty now, so that's a plus. My wife helped me with all of those. Those will go with me, of course, because if you've been a follower, follower of this channel, I do love coffee. There you go. Now, let's go upstairs and I'll show you all this, the stuff we need to load into the big truck. So here we go. Tables, shelves, boxes. Now I feel pretty confident that everything will fit into the truck. All these things also need to go to the truck. Alright, this is me. I've done my stretches. I'm still a mess. I haven't taken a bath, so don't count that against me. But I have like two full days and maybe the morning of Monday to load that big truck. All right, so this is day two update of me trying to fill up this 26 feet truck. So I think I'm halfway through here. Um, two of my friends, Jeff and Nat, came by yesterday afternoon to help me um, pack, especially the big heavy items. And so um, right now, I'm almost done. There's still a number of things that needs to be 
put into here uh, but I think I'm just trying to look for the best way to organize the contents of this truck finally managed to fill this up it's not perfect I'm not an expert in moving but I I tried to secure it I've tried to secure it as much as I could so we'll see if it holds so off to Texas I go to lock it so it's secure hours from Nashville to Texarkana, which is at the border of Arkansas and Texas, so that's about eight hours. And then another eight hours tomorrow from uh, Texarkana to the San Antonio area. So it's a foggy day, it's a rainy day, so take a look at our road here. I've been driving for four hours now, so I'm now in a town called Palestine in Arkansas, about four hours away from Nashville, and I am ready for my first pit stop. I need gas for the truck, I need coffee for myself. Let's do it. Coffee and snack, back to my U-Haul. I have a little over three hours more to go before my hotel stop for the night. So it is day two of my drive from Nashville to Texas and it is four in the morning of Tuesday, December 6th. And I want to rise, I want to be the early bird and avoid the traffic in the Dallas area. So I've yeah. watched some videos about warning to people driving you haul truck of theft and just people taking over or stealing their whole truck with all their belongings and so to make sure that that doesn't happen. I have bought this um, steering wheel lock from Amazon I think for about $30 and so well nothing happened over the, the previous night and I think it also helped that I parked in a well lit area in this parking lot of a Baymont Hotel. So I'll just remove this and be on my way. Alright, Texas, here I come. in the morning and I have just passed through Dallas I wanted to take a video when I was passing Dallas but the traffic was so bad I did not trust myself to bring out this camera and take some video so this is the Sun that came up just maybe a few minutes ago and I'm on my way through 35 E South and I'm driving towards Waco and Austin, Texas. I have about three hours more to go. Finally arrived home. Now time to unload. Surprise! for the most part <laughs> which is a good thing
restaurant and we are all tired. We've been trying to unload this for what? How many days now, Mom? And this is my present. Maybe two days. This is right. my present for the day. It's we only had opening we my presents. <laughs> we then we got we to go inside you and it's still dark. Okay. I arrived on Tuesday. Right now it's Wednesday. Why did Wednesday. not I ride this <laughs> truck? Because there's so many things, and we're down to the last few pieces, but the heavier ones. And I feel like I've lost, I don't know, two pounds, maybe. <laughs> Super tired. But so down. All done. Because it's Thanks to this big guy over here. Thanks to this little guy over here. And the other little guy for entertainment. So. Finally, after a, a, a day and a half of working on this, it is finally clean. <laughs> Maybe not exactly clean, but at least it's empty. I have been able to gather with the help of my wife and my eldest son a little bit of help from the little ones. I was able to unload this after driving it for about 14, 15 hours away from, you know, from Nashville down to Texas in the San Antonio area. And it's just amazing how much we've accumulated, how much stuff we have now compared to when we first came to the US in 2015 when we only had seven pieces of bags and boxes. Now, look at the garage. I mean, it's a mess for sure. <laughs> But so much stuff in eight years. Well, to be fair, we have three young boys. The difficult part starts now. And it's going to be unpacking all those boxes, pieces of furniture into the rooms where they belong. But for now, thank you.